my name's Artemis, it seems many people want to emulate their YouTube popular overlords these days, and they're seeking out any way they can to rip them off entirely. Or, you know, just join in at the basis level of things at the very least. Of all of the many ways there are to make this sort of thing, it really boils down to one thing. How do you become a YouTuber? And would you rather be a fur tuber or a creator? So, as a budding fur tuber, you're likely looking around at the playing field and thinking, hmm, what works and what doesn't work? It's not exactly a matter of what ideas can I take from somebody else, but more, which idea of theirs am I going to do first? And also, which stereotype are you going to adhere to? Are you going to be a vlogger, a gamer, a streamer, or fuck it, go for the holy trinity of trash and do all three at once? And I mean, it's obviously in your best interest to keep doing what everybody loves to see, keep adhering to the norms, and doing the same old stuff that's worked for so many people before, because, you know, that's what's gonna work for you, right? Throw as much cutesy shit out there as you can. Be sure to make sure you suit up in public as much as possible and record all the cringy reactions that you can. Throw out the Q&As like they're going out of style, but make sure that none of your answers actually make any fucking sense. And maybe throw in some of those bullshit advice videos, like coming out as a furry, because I'm sure nobody has seen any of those before, right? That's a perfect little idea you can do that's not been done to death. Or on the other side of things, maybe have a serious think about the kind of content you'd like to see and the kind of thing that you know you could passionately create and continue to passionately create. Starting a channel on a handful of good ideas can sometimes work, but it's best to start slow and make sure you can last. I mean, this isn't a sprint, it's a marathon, although there's not really a finish line in any case. Take a good look at the fandom and think, what can I do that's different? Where is there a gap that needs filling? Not the lewd way, obviously. But... Obviously, there's nothing wrong with uh, doing similar ideas and redoing stuff that's been done before, but if it's already been seen before, there's not an awful lot of incentive for somebody to watch your version of it. So if you're gonna do that, put a unique twist on it. Make it your own. Or more importantly, just find something fresh and new to bring to the table, rather than just recycling the same old shit. As you progress along your boring ass path of conformity and doing the same old fucking thing, you're gonna find that the basic first flock to you. And that's fucking great! With their following, your arbitrary numbers will start to increase and you'll actually start to matter in the fandom. Yay for you! See, now it's time to capitalize on that by telling them what they want to hear and giving them what they want. Be super positive and make sure you enable all of their self-destructive habits. And make sure you prostitute yourself entirely for all of their perverted little fantasies. Remember, it's not selling out if you're doing it for the views. Moving forward with your fresh endeavour, people will tend to be a little bit interested in some of the new stuff you bring to the uh, already crowded world of YouTube. Yes, you'll begin to amass a following and this can be a little bit of a double-edged sword. You need to be able to use it as a barometer for what does work and what doesn't work, but you can't be dependent on that feedback to really show what direction your content's going in. You need to make sure you maintain a healthy balance, otherwise you could end up on one side of the spectrum. You're either going to be so focused on making what you want to do and making it fresh and new, that you're not going to make it accessible for people to actually enjoy it. Or you're going to become so blinded by numbers that you're going to sell out all of your ideas just for the next hit of views, just for the next trending video. Continue to forge forward in your unique path and you're sure to gain the following that you actually deserve. And sure, it might be difficult, it might take a while and others might overtake you, but you'll be able to rest assured that you actually did this off your own back. You, you didn't use any tricks, you didn't use the fucking, I don't know, fursuit raffle to rise to the top. You just got there off of your own back, your own content and your own ideas. And you'll find that you have a following that truly stands by the kind of thing that you make rather than one that's just hanging around to leech off of whatever you're going to give them. As things go on, you need to make sure you're constantly improving and getting more and more exposure as the obvious pop you fur you deserve to be. Stop thinking up ideas for collaborations, get as many other YouTubers involved as possible. Of course, it doesn't actually matter if you can't think of any video ideas, it's not the fucking idea of the video, that's the point, is it? It's getting that other YouTuber in your video and leeching off their fame. And of course, if you are stuck for ideas, then, I don't know, buy some fucking candy that they haven't tried before and get them to eat it in suit. That's fucking instant gold right there. Also, make sure you keep 
using the newest music and memes in your video. You've got to keep chasing those trends, obviously. And try and edit a little bit better, but not too fucking good. I mean, use some nice new effects, but only what you can drag in from your fucking MacBook Pro's video editor or whatever's on your fucking iPhone. A nice little transition here and there will do. And of course, when it does come to ideas, um, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, it's got you this far, obviously. That means it will get you further, right? People obviously like you. You don't want to do anything too different, right? So they might fuck off. And you can't lose those numbers. They can't go down. They have to keep going up. Looking back at where you came from and what you've made before, identifying what you can do better and what needs to be better and working on it, that's key to being a good fucking creator who's got a future. Find a direction you want to go in, or the direction you care in, and keep taking steps in that direction. Open yourself up to critiques and feedback. Never be satisfied that what you're doing is perfect. Always accept that there is something to be improved and keep finding what it is and working on it. Keep playing with ideas, concepts, styles, formats, fucking the lot. Keep tweaking things until you really get what fits the video you're making or in fact the whole style that you're making. Never be completely happy with, oh, okay, I'm gonna start doing top 10 videos and they're all gonna follow the same fucking format. Fuck that shit entirely. Keep finding new and exciting different ways to make that shit work. Obviously the main goal of this channel is to become a popular, to be famous and actually matter in the fandom, right? You want people to know who you are and why you deserve to belong. And you also want to be swarmed with likes, subs, follows, retweets. All of that bullshit, because, you know, that won't actually stand a chance of filling that hole in your soul that nothing ever has seemed to touch before. Those numbers are your motivation, and you have to do anything you can to make sure they keep getting higher. Get as clickbaity as possible, follow every trend, do as many collaborations as you can fit into your fucking timescale. Anything, anything at all, just to stay relevant. Do you care about what you create? Because at the end of the day, that's the only thing that actually matters. If you enjoy creating, if you enjoy editing, you enjoy filming, you enjoy finding new ideas to work on, you enjoy fleshing those ideas out, you enjoy the struggle and the challenge, then you're going to do fine. You're going to do just fine. Because this is something you are actually meant to be doing. This is something that you are passionate about and you will continue to enjoy. You'll be able to push yourself forward, develop and improve. You'll be able to look back and go, wow, I've actually come quite a ways from where I started. And you'll actually be able to think that the content you create matters. Not to everybody and not in a general sense, but it matters to you. And that is what is fucking important. So there you have it, there's a couple of ways you can become a YouTuber. There's the passionate route where you follow what you think is good content, continuously trying to push yourself higher and constantly improving and doing things that people haven't seen before. And then there's the cheap route of chasing trends and pandering to everyone's fucking basest interests. I'm not going to make a point about which one is better or which one is worse or even if there is a better or worse because, uh... Fucking hell, at this point I shouldn't have to. If you can't understand where I stand on this subject, you haven't been paying attention. Also, this isn't the only way there is to making it as a YouTuber. There's loads of other fucking ways. I just took the two diseases to take the piss out of. But the key important thing is that you enjoy yourself and you do it for the right reasons. If you go chasing numbers, you're just going to be fucking disappointed because it's never going to be enough. Nothing will fill that hole in your soul. So yeah, just do what you fucking want. It's not like the most constructive advice I can give, but it's probably the best advice. Do what you like and you love and just keep doing it as long as you like and love it. And you, you'll be fucking fine. Maybe, I don't know. I mean, if you like certain things that no one's going to give a shit about, then I, I guess you weren't meant to be a fucking YouTuber. <laughs>